All right. Giving all glory, honor, praises to you. How about you, me? How was you? How about you, me? How about Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone in the womb, teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect, 144 first fruit, brother Kashakwala, Shalom, Shalom. Back at you with a quick lesson. So pretty much, as you can see, I got a, an article from the Insider. More than 1,400 stores are closing across the U.S. in 2023. Here's the full list. So pretty much, stores are closing, banks are closing, and we're starting, we've been seeing, but I'm just going to say it, we're starting to see the liquidation of America, all right? So I have a few basic words pulled up in the Google search, and of course I have two quick precepts, but I'm going to go ahead and go into this article. It says more than 1,400 stores are closing in 2023 in the U.S., and these are major stores as well, all right? It says more than a dozen more uh, major retailers have said they will close at least 1,400 stores in the U.S. That includes Amazon, ba uh, Bath and Body Works, Walmart, and Foot Locker are among the chain shutting down stores. Bed Bath & Beyond is planning to close 416 locations, the most, uh, the second most of uh, any real retailers on the list. Uh, so you notice usually... Um, Bath and Body Works, Bed Bath and Beyond, Foot Locker are in malls. So we're going to start seeing malls start to close down and liquidate. Okay? Now liquidate. And I'm going to get that word liquidation in a second. But we're just going to go down this list and show the stores that are closing. So Foot Locker is closing 545 stores. All right. Just keep going. I'm going to put this article in the description box below so you can read through it. Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, 416 stores. Let's keep going. Uh, Tuesday morning, oh, phew, I didn't even know they were still in business. Obviously, going out of it, uh, 265 stores. Uh, Bath and Body Works, 50 stores. Uh, let's see. All right, Gap and Banana Republic, 46 stores. That's a clothing brand. Uh, Party City, 22 stores, because they ain't no, no it ain't nothing to celebrate no more. Uh, Best Buy is closing 20 stores. That's a big uh, branch. And of course, Walmart is closing 10 stores. It's another big branch. And then the last but not least, Amazon is closing about eight stores. So what we're seeing right now is a big liquidation of America. All right, but first we're going to get the word consolidate. All right, so we can understand basic terms of finance. All right, so the word consolidate, of course, says make something physically stronger or more solid. But we want to get to the nitty gritty about the financial side of what consolidate means. And here we go. It says that combine a number of things into a single more effective or coherent whole. Right. So again, it says combine a number of financial accounts or funds into a single overall account or set of accounts. So, yes. This system is being consolidated so it can be as one current system. And that's going to implement the MOTB, of course, where everybody's going to have to use that one system because there's too many avenues and too many ways to make money and, and things of that nature. And the reason I bring out consolidate and I make that point is because they're closing stores to where it's going to make people go to one specific store, whatever they decide it to be. Okay, they're going to even consolidate where you shop, where you grocery shop, where you buy your clothes, your shoes, watches, jewelry, wherever. They're going to consolidate it all into um, a few specific stores that you can go to so that they can track you easier using the MOTB. All right. Now we got the word liquidation. So the word liquidation is the process of selling off assets and using the proceeds to pay off creditors or shareholders. So what we're seeing right now is a big liquidation happening in America where they're selling off a lot of stuff and they're trying to pay the creditors back. China, AKA, uh, let's go down to this part it says liquidation can be, uh, can also be voluntary when the company decides to go out of business and liquidate its assets. So it says when the company decides to go, so some companies decide to make this quote unquote um, fall, you could say, on purpose. And that's what we're seeing here. The, you know, the higher ups in, in the Edomite world are purposely tanking 
purposely deciding to let America go out of business because America is a corporation and it's liquidating all the assets. All right. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and 7. I mean, 12 and 4, Salakia. You already knew I was going to get this. It says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the, when the sound of grinding is low. So the sound of grinding is low. It goes into working. It goes into the stock market because money works as well. You ever heard the term, let your money work for you? Well, your money is grinding. All right. Jake liked to use that as a slang term as I'm working. So when the grinding is low, so low work, low output. OK, this is starting to happen. We're seeing it. It's been happening. Really, America hasn't even recovered from the, the 07, 2007, 2008. A lot of people coined it 2008, but really it started in like 06 and 07. And they felt the recoil of 06 and 07 in 2008. It's like the same thing that's happening now. Uh, the recoil we're feeling here in 2023 was from 2020. OK. You got to think about it. Countries shut down for a whole year. Ooh, how the fuck do you think they're going to bounce back? They're not. So therefore, they're going to feel a recoil from being shut down and the grinding ceasing in 2023. He says, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and dollars and youth should be brought low. This is Revelation chapter 18. In 9, it says, In the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, in the her is speaking about here in America, it says, In the kings of the earth, these other nations around the planet, okay, have who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her. So, yes, other countries have lived deliciously off of the commerce in the buying and the trading and the selling with America. So, they, look, they're not innocent in this either. So, they did live deliciously off of America, shall bewail her. Why shall they bewail her? Because they made a lot of money off of this place because America is, is consumer-based. We consume, con America, Americans consume, 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 and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. And that goes into when the Lord judges this place uh, with the nuclear fire. Verse 10, it says, and standing afar off, uh, for the fear of the torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, a.k.a. America, that mighty city, for in one hour, just one hour, is the judgment come. So 400 years of building this place up, the Lord's going to take it down in one hour. Okay? And, uh, and I'm just going to read this part of verse 11. I'm not going to read all of that. But from verse 12 on down, it's speaking about all the assets that America has acquired over the time. So verse 11, it says, and the merchants of the earth shall weep. Let's get this word merchant, 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 and see what it, see what it means. Strong's G, 1713, Emperors, Emperors. Yeah, that's where you kind of get the word empire from, or emperor. Because the emperor is one that takes over everything, sea, land, air, whatever. So one on a journey, whether by sea or land, especially for trade, a merchant as opposed to a retailer or a petty trade tradesman. All right. So these these stocks, these these bonds and these uh, economists and all these other trades and kings of the earth. All these other nations are what you can consider merchants of the earth. They're going to weep and mourn over her. The her is a pronoun for America when it's destroyed because that's the, they're making big boy bank off of this place. So it's in also they're going to weep over the place is because America owes them so much money. And when they see it get destroyed, it's going to. All that money they, that America owed, well, America is no more in existence, so you're not getting that back. So you're going to be pissed because you can't get your money. It says, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore because it's destroyed. All right. But what we're seeing right now is a big liquidation of this place. And we can see that America is trying to consolidate everything into one. That's why they're trying to do the same thing with the money as well. 
They're consolidating the money. That's why they're going and attacking after this cryptocurrency because cryptocurrency is one of the only currencies to where people can have power over NSA over their own money. All right, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, crypto is a currency that can't be affected by inflation. So you are in control of your own quote unquote destiny when it comes to monetary funds in crypto. All right, that's why a lot of people invest in it. The big, the big bear of crypto, of course, is Bitcoin, and then you have the next one, Ethereum. Those are like your golds and golds and silvers in the crypto game. Everything else, again, <laughs> Doge, Coin, whatever the fuck else that you know, cryptocurrency that's out there. Really, those are crypto currencies out there to you could say lessen the strength of the two big names to consolidate even the cryptocurrency. So they're attacking that as well. So we see what's happening. We see what Esau's doing. And it's all beautiful because all of this is going to implement Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right, the MOTB. It's coming. It is coming. You know? So I just wanted to make a quick lesson in that. I want to give all glory on the prisons too. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Achakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, and women teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect one forty four first root. Until the next time, I say shalom, and like always, repent for your house is coming back sooner than what me and you believe. Shalom.